Hello guys, this video is going to be dedicated to the eye optic contact lenses that everyone keeps talking about and uh, people say that it's used on the International Space Station. Now, let me just remind you of the technology in 2014. Google Glass, eye optic contact lenses. These are completely two different technologies. And if you look at this, this is like a century between these two technologies. This smooth foot to this piece of crap here. So let's look at this and why are we even making this video? What is the point of this? Well, it turns out that the International Space Station was a big, huh, big beneficiary of this technology. And I'm going to show you why they were the beneficiary of it. This technology was not meant for the public. Uh, the company tried to sell it to the public for VR type uh, content, but it was pulled before they went to the CES show. They never showed up with this technology. So this post was January 6, 2014. However, the technology for Optic dates back to 2012 when they got the contract from DARPA to develop the Optic prototype for the battlefield. So this was a government-funded project. So it's saying, it, although it's, it was clear the technology could serve many uses outside the military, of course you can use it for other uses. Now, the problem with this is, what can you use this technology for? Hmm. Hmm, let's see here. According to the company, the technology enables users to focus on objects right in front of their eyes and in the distance simultaneously. Very, very important because it allows you to see things further out from your hand so you can grab it and pretend that you're actually touching it, which you're not. So pretty much this was the beginning of the International Space Station and their uh, mysterious tricks that they've been pulling for the last couple of years. Just stuff that we've never seen before. Offering an alternative solution to traditional near eye displays, which create the illusion of an object in the distance so as not to hinder regular vision. Okay. Enabled, embedded, I should say, in the contact lenses are micro components that enable the user to focus on their images. If I'm going to go back and show you the, again Google Glass and this. This looks like a century in time. This does not look even human. It doesn't even look like something we would even think of building. Okay. This looks like technology from two centuries from now and we built this now and this is this it completely makes no sense whatsoever how this is even even here okay so let's look at this so this creates two separate images on the retina which are then superimposed to create one integrated image or augmented reality this is why sometimes they have a problem on the international space, international space station where they sometimes grab a, an item that's not there, okay? Because these two images have to be put together into one integrated image, and sometimes there's problems. These are called channels, okay? Because it's superimposed. So, it says, at present, iOptic is not for sale, as it still requires clearance from the FDA. <laughs> okay. This application might come in late 2014. They never did. This company disappeared, and now we don't have this technology anymore. This is what we have, a stupid box in front of your eyes with that VR crap out there today. With, it looks like a box in front of your eyes. It looks ridiculous. Or we could have had this technology. Nothing in front of you. Now I'm going to switch over to another website, which explains this a bit more from further detail. So this actually says, okay, DARPA, which department it was. It was actually the Department of Defense that actually gave the contract to Ino Vega. Okay, so now I'm going to show you again a picture of it. Okay. Ignore that. It was never used for that, and it's used in the International Space Station. And this is how it works. Now I'm going to explain to you how the International Space Station works, how they do it. Now, what happens with this is the user wears the contact lenses. Okay, now be very careful of this. I'm going to explain to you. They got they got away with using the glasses. They're not using them anymore. You don't need the glasses. Why? Because all the glasses are displaying the picture back into your retina. So what they do is they have two LED panels, large panels behind the camera on each side, displaying the channels into the person's field of view so the person can see it. So when they're looking at the screen, they can see the image in front of them and they can grab objects from the, the channels that are posted. So, 
if they had the glasses, anybody could see. Like, why would the International Space Station crew be wearing these glasses? Obviously, they, it would be pretty much exposed right away. So they had to find a way to get rid of these glasses, so you didn't need it in front of you. The solution was simple. Large displays in the back, displaying the channels back into the person's eyes because they're already wearing the eye optic contact lenses. This is how they're doing it. It was a very simple solution. You don't need the glasses. You just make a big panel behind it. This is also one of the reasons why the camera is always stationary on the International Space Station when they're grabbing these objects. So if you ever notice that, the camera never pans around. It's always stationary because there's two screens on the right. This will be on the left side here and on the right side of the users. So whatever they're looking at, they can see the screens all the time. And sometimes... Okay, sometimes if the camera's in the middle here and the screens are to the side, when, if they grab something in front of them here in that camera field of view right in the center, sometimes they miss the object. This is why they're missing the object. Okay? So now you understand why they're, they're having these issues where they're grabbing something that's not there. So, again, they did away with the glasses after 2014. They, in, they increased the technology, so they figured out that you don't need that. You just have two displays, big displays on the side here, and have the camera here recording these guys. That's why the camera is always not moving. It's stationary. That's why you also don't have a camera crew name on the ISS. It doesn't say who's behind the camera, does it? You never see the person behind the camera. You never see their hand. You never see the camera zooming in and out on the International Space Station. If the focusing in and out, nothing. It's always there, perfectly set to go. So, according to sources, I know Vega aims to get federal the Food Drug Administration approval for the contact lenses this year, 2012. So this goes back to 2012. As they continue to work to enhance the prototype. This was the prototype in 2012. Obviously, they're way ahead internally for the government usage. At first, the lenses will be solely be available to the military and possibly people with vision problems. So let me see this. Commercially, these were supposed to be available in 2014, 2015. We never got them. Now, for people who have vision problems... We lost out on a technology to increase our lives because some fucking idiots on the International Space Station wanted to play games grabbing 3D objects, okay? This goes beyond the International Space Station. These pieces of shit are using technology that can enhance someone with vision problems, okay? And possibly people with vision problems. This could have been enhance the lives of people with vision problems and these pieces of shit are using this technology in order to grab 3D freaking objects to make it look like they're in space. So, mind you of what, I, what you just read there. This is a technology that should be in the hands of the people, not Freemasons running around in, uh, in you know, fake space telling us that they're grabbing objects which are not there. So, this is the technology that they're using. It's been around since 2012. And now you know what the Interna International Space Station astronauts are using. That they all wear these contact lenses. Um, could be there could be other people using them, uh, especially in 3D sets with uh, the ORAD virtual reality sets. You may also be using these lenses. Um, but again, these are the two sites. It's right here. This is not a lie. It's real technology. It was available in 2012 as a prototype. It was supposed to go on sale in 2014 as a real product. Never there. So again, we had the technology, but we lost it to these morons who think that they can use it to deceive people instead. The problem with technology is sometimes things could be used to deceive people instead of enhancing people's lives. So again, they solve the problem of the glasses. They don't need the glasses anymore. You just have two screens on the side. That's how they're doing it. And that's the reason why they screw up sometimes because to catch objects perfectly, you need the glasses. And obviously, they can't wear them because obviously, they will get caught. You could see them. So they don't wear the, the glasses. They have the, the screens on the side, one on the left, one on the right, and they have the camera in the center. And this is why sometimes they fail to grab the objects because, again, the camera's in the front. Um... This is just my view. Uh, please take it, uh, you know, with a grain of salt. I always say that because I don't want you to believe what I'm telling you. I'm just, I just want you to see what I'm showing you. So if you don't believe it, that's fine with me. But just understand that this technology is out there. You don't need to wear a stupid goddamn box in front of your eyes to see virtual reality objects. We had this technology in 2014, but 
Again, it was taken by someone who thought, you know what, we can use this technology to pretend to grab objects in space and make them floating. Yeah. So that's exactly what they're doing on the International Space Station, and this is what they're using. So this technology is real. It was real, and it's real today. It's just we don't have access to it. Thanks for watching the video. And again, leave any comments. None will be ever deleted. I always will allow anybody to put whatever the comment they, they want there. But just, you know, to let you know, this was real. It's not a hoax. This technology existed. But unfortunately, uh, the, uh, the NASA group, uh, you know, took it from the government and said, yeah, we need this too. We can use this. And that's pretty much what it is. This product now does not exist. Now I see people, idiots, wearing a freaking box in front of their eyes when they could have been using this. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope everyone having a nice day.